and it's your own DNA, right? Okay, because theoretically, if we have overpopulation, we don't need more people, right? That's, but the so-called elite are selecting on who they want to have around anyway, so if we want to keep people going as long as we can. I, I talked to the doctor that was working on um, regeneration of Castro, for instance. Right. On the DNA sequencing. And, that, and they're just learning about this. Well, I, my understanding is that a lot of presidents have already been replaced. That's right. Yeah, like I, I don't think they're I walking think, around. They they look old, but they basically uh, some well, of the people are just I'll, I'll, I'll second, just give third you something to I'll give you something to ponder. Get some old videos of George Bush, his when he first came into office. Look at the person and listen to him speak. Look at his actions and listen to his everything that's there. Now it's a lot easier to put somebody out in front to act as a you know even Bush did. He had somebody else that was up there. Uh, acting like he is and look like it. Even Hitler had a, you know, he had his stand. In fact, his stand-in was the one that they found in the, in the ground over in Germany. I mean, Hitler and Eva and the dog and 14 other people got aboard a plane and flew down to Barcelona, Spain. You were aware of that. And then ended up in Antarctica or in Swabenland and then died a few years ago in Brazil. That's what we heard. That's oh, I what got we a, heard. I have all the documents from our own government. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we have a contact, one and of our Stalin contacts. even, uh, Stalin asked for the, you know, they tried to burn the body and he got the body back and he said, wait a minute, different ears and, and